So, hi everybody. It's been quite a while since my last video. I kind of sound like some kind of reporter or something. Hi, boss. Um, anyway, so I'm alive, um, in case you guys are wondering. I mean, obviously, obviously I'm alive because if you guys follow the Facebook, as you should be, I've been posting constant updates. But for those of you too cool to go to Facebook because, oh my god, all the kids are doing it. Um, so I have been house sitting for two, three weeks, three weeks now. Um, the house is actually, it's kind of a long story, but basically it's my mom and her sister's house now. It was my grandmother's house and um, <laughs> I'm house sitting while they find new renters because the people that were here before um, got more money from the government to get an even bigger house. So now we're, we're trying to find new renters. Um, it's kind of kind of interesting because, you know, I, I do want to move out, but at the same time, I didn't really want to live totally alone with no animals because it's very lonely and it's kind of scary actually to be in a quasi-familiar house for uh, hours on end. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm just now getting used to the whole, I can do whatever I want as long as it doesn't ruin the house or anything like that. But, you know, a little bit, a little bit of craziness is permitted. But, uh, so I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of this house, um, for no particular reason, just because I haven't done a video in a really long time. So here's the kitchen. Yep, the kitchen. Um, it was redone right before the other people moved in, so that's one nice area. Here's the laundry room. Yeah, laundry room. There's no laundry washing thing right now. This is the room where I currently set up shop. For lack of a better word, there's my, my TV that I brought with me. I, you know, it's... Uh, it's amazing to me how technology has improved because this TV, I got it for sale at Fry's for like $200 like uh, half a year ago. And do, do you want to see something? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm carrying it! I'm carrying it! It's like three pounds. It's, it, this TV is lighter weight than my laptop. And either that means I have a really bad laptop, or a really cool TV, or maybe both. Um, where's my fish? Because I took, I, I, I decided I couldn't have no living thing here, so I took my fish with me. Um, his name is Luna, and sometimes he flies, flies. Sometimes he swims sideways. But, and there's my bed! Yeah, bed! Okay. So anyway, this was the garage. Um, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be showing this, but you know what? Who cares? Um, that right there is a, a skylight that my, um, somebody who used to live here, who shall not be named so I don't get in trouble, um, illegally installed so that uh, he could try to grow pot inside his room. But um, uh, his brother is a cop and found out and was like, I don't think so. So that was, that was a long time ago. Here's the bathroom. There's only one bathroom in this entire house. Um, it's very small and I don't have a shower curtain right now. So my only choice is baths, which is, which would be sad, except that I, uh, I've been checking out a lot of books from the library recently, um, and by books I mean comics. So uh, I was reading Thor, and now I'm reading X-Men First Class. And, I, you know, I, I don't really understand... Um, I mean, I like some American comics, but it's confusing to me how there's all the different, you know, different strains or whatever you want to call them, different series. And so, you know, when I'm like just trying to just get the books and check it out and see, you know, I don't know where to start because there's all these different ones like like Thor, like, you know, I'm like, I checked out everything that the library had that had Thor in the word. And some of it was published like two years ago and some of it's like 30 years ago, you know, before I was born. And I will be honest, I don't really like the stuff that was before I was born. It's a little too hokey for me. But the more recently published stuff, you know, I, I do, I think it's pretty funny. And some of it's well drawn. I have noticed that some of the comic book artists, by the way, that was, that was my grandmother's room kind of haunted. No, it's not haunted. It does smell bad, though. The, the whole carpet smells bad. Um, yeah, that's kind of a problem. We're trying to get rid of it so we can actually rent it out. But whatever. And then this is the room that many people have stayed in over the years and uh, looks out onto the main street. Um, both good and bad, actually mostly bad. This house is right on a main street, so uh, there's a lot of cars and sirens because this is not the best area. They are trying to renovate it. Um, and then this is the living room, and it has this enormous freaking window, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I would rather it didn't look out, look out onto the main street, like I said, cars, 
But you know what? Oh, I forgot to turn out the po porch light. Doop. Waste no electricity here. Um, but it's really, it, I like it because it's like, you know, you could, you could have your TV and then you could you have your couch and you can go around through the side like so. You don't have to walk in front of the person watching TV and that would be nice. And then there's this little nook that would be a cool place for an office except that the smell is the most awful right here. But um, <laughs> I'm febrezing it like three times a day, every day, and slowly, slowly, slowly you're getting rid of the smell. Anyway, oh, and of course the porch, which I was already walking out um, in earlier. So I kind of love this porch because it's, well, we have to replace some of the screen still, but I like it because it's outdoors. So, you know, you get the fresh air and everything like that. But at the same time, it's enclosed. So like, you know, it was raining cats and dogs yesterday and I was just sitting there, you know, not, not exactly warm, but at least very dry, um, you know, checking stuff on my laptop, which by the way, is the only way I can get internet right now um, because there is no landline here. Um, so I have to go to basically, I have to go to Starbucks and stuff when I want internet, which means to upload this video, I'm gonna have to go to Starbucks, so that's kind of weird. So basically, um, Starbucks knows me by name now, even though I can barely afford anything there. But uh, yeah, I'm really hoping to, you know, get out of here soon so I can go home and, and have internet and um, do more regular videos. I've, I've had tons of inspiration for uh, new videos and stuff like that. Um, and I've been writing it all down and I've been doing some of it. I, I brought my desktop with me so I could get some stuff done. Um, but it's very echoey, so it's kind of an issue. But you know what? It's fine. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to writing down this amazing book idea I had yesterday that's totally gonna outsell Twilight and Hunger Games combined. I'm I'm I've decided I've decided it's going to sell one of them. No, actually I, I honestly am trying to get a book out. Um, because I've always, I've always been a writer, I've always written, but I've never, well, I've rarely actually finished a book. And, uh, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but people do tend to tell me I'm a pretty good writer. So I think if I just force myself to sit down and, uh, get a, get a book out there, I could possibly get it published. I mean, there's a lot of crap out there that got published, so if that can get published, surely I could get something published. Just, just, just a single book. Or maybe a series, or maybe a trilogy, you know. Then I'll be happy. Oh, and one more thing that I should mention, or he's going to kill me. Um, so, <laughs> Steve, uh, who those of you who are familiar to the channel should be familiar, no, you're not dating. He's just my friend. So you can get that notion right out of your head, because that's not going to happen. Anyway, so he had a huge altercation with his, um, his mom and his stepdad, and he actually vacated his domicile very suddenly and moved in with his uncle in Las Vegas. Um, he does plan to get money, to, to save up money and move back here, but he's gonna have to find a job first to do that. And the unemployment rate in Las Vegas right now is crazy, so I'm not sure he's gonna do that. But anyway, so I kind of pushed him into starting more regular regular vlogs, 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 um, something I'm obviously amazing at. Um, under his channel name Captain Novograd, so C A P T N O V O G R O D, which is a channel he's had for a long time, but he didn't really ever po post anything to it. Um, but those of you who like, you know, who like it when Steve shows up in my videos, or who just want to be supportive, you should go check out his channels. Go check out his vlogs. He's going to try to do them daily, is what he told me, and uh, he's going to try to find a job. He's going to try to try to do stuff with the channel from his uncle's house, but I'm not sure how much he can do from all the way over there. Um, and uh, supposedly join a gym and work out and get healthier and, you know, not so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you guys should go check him out. And you should go say hi from Cleo. And, um, leave your two cents in and go, Come back to Steve And go all full weeaboo. Um, Alright, well, that's, that, I think that's a good update. Um, I will let you guys know more news in the future. Until then, I'm gonna go smack a bitch, and by smack a bitch, I mean I'm gonna go throw something at that dog that won't shut up. Um, no, I won't. I'll just probably go over and pet him and be like, You're so cute. You're so annoying, but you're so cute. Alright. See you guys later. Bye.